Starting off first with a 1968 D mint mark, this coin has a curved clip error taking place on it. Now this coin here sold for around $50. Now there's all kinds of different clips out there. Some can be much larger than this. Some can be a lot smaller than this and they can take places on, you know, different sides of the coin and whatnot. So $50 for that penny. Now here's another example of a clip, but this is a straight clip error. And of course it only weighs 1.35 grams as a result because we're missing a lot of the coin here. It is the 1968D penny and this coin sold for around $150. And we can't forget that it was struck 35% off center as well. All right, moving on here to a 1968 D mint mark. Now this coin is valuable. Well, it sold for over $250 and here's why. The coin has a doubled die reverse. So if we look at these images here, you'll see examples of a double die reverse for the 1968 D. You wanna look for doubling on the lettering on the reverse of the coin. You can do that with your coin microscopes. Uh, I always do have those available on couchcollectibles.com, but right now we are currently sold out. Check on there, couchcollectibles.com. By the time you're watching this video, we might be restocked. But this coin also has a grade of a Mint State 64 Red by PCGS. So that's going to give the coin, uh, you know, value as well. You know, the condition, the grade always matters when valuing your coins. This coin sold, like I said, for over $250. Now here is an example of a 1968D that has a re-punched mint mark. Now this coin is graded at a mint state 65 red. Here's an example of what a re-punched mint mark looks like on the 1968D. Uh, very, very visible there. There's all kinds of different coins and different dates with re-punched mint marks. So definitely watch my other videos and I'll go more in details on some of those. This coin here sold for around $90 in that condition. So let's move on here to another 1968D Lincoln cent. This coin here has been double struck with the second strike being 85% off center. It is graded by Annex at a Mint State 63 Red Brown. Again, if you're not familiar with red grades, red brown pennies, uh, brown pennies, uh, feel free to watch that video. I did a whole video kind of explaining the difference of uh, the grading companies given those de designations for your coins. So this coin here sold for around $150. Let's move on to one of my favorite coins of this video, the 1968 S mint mark that has been double struck. The second strike is 50% off center. It is graded by NGC at a mint state 64 red brown. Look at that, you see the design double struck there. That is a really awesome double strike. This penny here sold for over $375. I think if I came across that, there's no way I'd be able to sell it. I'd have to add it to my collection. I would definitely get it graded and then add it to my collection. 375 bucks. Let's move on to a 1968 that is graded by Annex at a mint state 63 red. The coin has been double struck, very obvious type of mint error. Of course, we're not finding these in coin rolls or anything, but this coin did sell for around $60. I've shown this in my previous 1968 video as well, but since it's a 1968, I'll show you. It's just a detached fragment, and of course it's going to sell because people like interesting things like this. Me personally, I wouldn't buy anything like this for my collection, but this fragment, or penny fragment, I guess we could uh, call it detached penny fragment, this fragment <laughs> sold for over $275. All right, here's a 1968 D mint mark that was struck 65% off center. As you guys know, if you've watched my videos, you can look for off centers on all kinds of different coins. Some of them will not be as off center as this. Some of them will be even more off center than this. In this case, this penny sold for around 90 US dollars. Here's another off center, even more off center than the last, 80% off center to be exact. 1968 no mint mark, and this penny here sold for around $90 as well. Now here's a coin that's not only off center, but it also has a straight clip. Uh, so we'll see that there on the left side of the penny. It is the 1968 S mint mark. And this coin here sold for over $420. Moving on to a 1968 no mint mark that was struck onto a Canadian 10 cent blank planchet. So we got a Canadian dime planchet that the Lincoln cent design was actually struck onto. And uh, if my memory serves me correctly, 1968, I believe Canada was still producing 
uh, silver dimes in that year. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, I've done so many videos on it, and I got so many dates and stuff to remember, uh, I forget. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure in 1968 they were still producing silver, so this is probably a silver planchet, as, as that's what it appears to be. Uh, this coin here sold for over $1,400. $1,400, can't beat that. Now here is something that is much different. Now this is in 1968 that was struck onto a 1968 Roosevelt dime. Now we can actually see the design of the Roosevelt dime here as well as the design of the Lincoln cent. So this coin here sold for over $630. Man, that's awesome. I would love, love, love to find one of those. Now here's a 1968S that was struck onto a 10 cent planchet. The difference between this coin and the last coin is that the dime was already created. It's a double denomination when the coin design is struck onto a coin that already has the design, you know? In this case, this is the Lincoln cent design being struck onto a 10 cent planchet. Uh, so this coin did sell for over $2,600. And it is the proof coin, by the way. Here's a 1968 S mint mark. Now this coin here is graded at a mint state 67 plus red. So that's where all of the value comes in for this coin. Now if you have a 1968 penny, it's not in good condition, doesn't have any types of errors or anything. It's only worth one cent of course, um, unless you wanna argue it's copper value, which I'm not gonna get into uh, saving copper and all that. But this grade is what gives it all of its value, graded by PCGS. So if you only have a couple coins at this grade or higher, of course it's going to have value because there's only a couple of them that exist in this condition. That's why this coin sold for over $3,900, nearly a $4,000 penny. Now here is a 1968S proof Lincoln cent that has been double struck. So this coin here sold for over $4,300, over a $4,000 penny. Now as we move on here to a 1968 proof, this coin here has a double die obverse. So you wanna look for doubling on the front of the coin. You can do so by looking at the date and the lettering on the coin as well, the word trust, the word liberty. So always be on the lookout for that in your uh, proof coin sets with your coin microscopes. Uh, this coin here did sell for over $500. And also you wanna look for doubling on your regular 1968 pennies as well. Look for that on the lettering, the phrasing God we trust. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you on the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.